All right, so the last time, as you recall, we did grunt init grunt file, right? And we said we wanted a DOM project. We wanted to concatenate and minify files, but we said no to package JSON. Um, let's time, this time, let's say we will choose to provide a package JSON. We still only come out with a grunt file, so we'll have to provide that package JSON. But let's look at the grunt file. Uh, it's basically the same thing, except we've got this package uh, property, um, and it's all in init config, which will turn into our kind of main config object or context, if you will. Um, but this package is, as you can see, pointing to package JSON. We'll just ignore this funny syntax, but as we can see here, pkg basically takes on the properties of whatever you've put in your package JSON. So version, name, title, homepage, etc. So this time I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the QUnit stuff. So we're not going to be doing that, and it's just making it more confusing. Okay, so now if I say grep for this pkg in grunt.js, they get some garbage. Let's just create our package JSON and use that as a cheat sheet. And then open it up. Okay, so if you've done any Node.js, you'll know that package JSON is just an object literal, a JavaScript object literal. And so I've uh, copied this stuff over to um, create a cheat sheet so I can see what properties this package JSON is uh, expected to have. Um, let me set my tab stop to 2 and soft tab stop to 2 so all the JavaScript folks don't get pissed off at me. I'm sort of a 4-tab guy, sorry. but um, When in Rome. Okay, so my cool project, I don't know. And a name. Actually, let's go ahead and quote these. They're pretty strict about the quoting for the property names. Um, and we'll just call this library cool. And the version will be uh, one or 0.1. And so that's everything on that line. There's a home page. Let's make that HTTP cool.com um, and then we see this author name so author is a property and it looks like names probably um, uh, and a property of author so I'll just put my name and then licenses my Vim is not configured here. I've been using Sublime Text a lot more these days. So licenses is, is actually an array, and I had to go look at a sample, uh, a sample package JSON for GruntJS to figure this out. So it's an array of object literals with licenses that have a type property. So we'll do MIT and a URL. And so that would be URL to your project's um, license path to license uh, MIT, whatever, right? So that's probably what you'd have. And then you could have more. You know, you could have another another guy in here. You know, with your your second license. So that's what we need. And I always do this. Notice this extra comma. Um, be careful because the parser is very picky. And the, J the package JSON has to be just right. So, um, okay, so actually, let's go ahead and go back before we move on. Let's actually purposely put in this extra, let's put in an extra comma. And if that happens, you'll get something like this unable to parse package JSON file, unexpected token. 
And then in here, this isn't like some fancy smiley face. This is the actual token um, that it choked on. But um, we can't be sure why it choked on this. But I think probably after this comma, it expected to see, you know, another property, right, and continue. But it's found this token. Anyway... If we look for the most likely culprit, which is a trailing comma, that's going to fix the problem. Okay, so now we'll get an error that's unable to lib uh, to read lib cool. Um, so let's go back in the immigrant file so you can see why that's happening. Um, um, well, in the concat task, it's going to take this lib and the package name and the name as you recall was cool right so this is going to be cool.js so it's looking for lib cool.js so let's just go ahead and create that and touch lib cool.js and echo some javascriptness into there um, window alert this is cool this is the cool project or whatever, right? <laughs> okay. And I think that's valid JavaScript right there. Okay. And then we got to pipe that or actually redirect that into our lib cool, right? So now if we cat lib cool, there we have a little JavaScript. If we run grunt, uh, grunt now, we'll see we ran lint on the file and it looks like it was okay. We ran the concat dist. So remember concat is a task and dist is the target. And then we have the minify min task with dist as the target directory and we can see that these files were written out so this is the concatenated one and this is the minified one pretty much the same as in the first video um, if we cat these um, there's the concatenated one and then if we look at the minified one we can see it's pretty much the same thing except this space between and the concatenated one that got um, minified and you can also see that my prompt is right after this last character so this is completely chunked together although they both have this banner right because that doesn't get uh, uh, that doesn't change and in case you missed it again this banner is coming from that meta tag in the grunt js file and that's this whole chunk here, right? And the package JSON that we define, as you recall, is uh, getting absorbed up into this PKG. Absorbed is a horrible way to put it, but you get the point. And our title, name, and all this stuff is getting put in that way. 